Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Greenline Goddess Tarot. This is your mid-month reading for July, so moving from Cancer season into Leo season. The nodes are shifting and changing, the nodes of destiny and fate are shifting and changing from Scorpio and Taurus into Aries and Libra. So I think this shift into Leo season and the North Node and South Node moving into Aries and Libra actually is going to be a really positive energy for you. I think that this is a positive energy shift. And the feeling I got when I was tuning in for you was the words I was got I got was a little bit different to you normally was this kind of thoughtful energy. Not that you're not thoughtful, but it was more of a pausing for reflection and thought being th thoughtful about something. And then it was like something just kind of came to you and you got really excited about it. So it's like, yeah, let's see what we've got. Five of crystals, persistence and new possibilities coming through. Like this little ladybird climbing the tree. It's like keep at something, keep with it because again, it might be something or someone that you're thinking about and just reflecting upon. And then this moment of like, um, inspiration or clarity or just something comes to you inside your mind where it's like, oh, I'm getting really excited. So then it's like I'm the ladybird. I'm going to keep going. I'm opening up to these new possibilities. So it kind of feels exciting. And the North Node in Aries is like it's a cardinal sign. It's about represents the start of spring. So it's new things happening that feel like it's bringing growth. So it could actually be these new energies that feel like, yeah, new possibilities, new sense of purpose to things. So let's see what's shifting and changing for you. We've got temperance, Jupiter, Sagittarius, South Node, energy coming through. So there actually could be some things that you could be working on in terms of your health with this temperance energy. This does represent health. Um, the temperance card. But the Sagittarius energy is where there's a great a reach. This is your opposite sign coming through here. And Jupiter is saying there's something that wants to expand in your world. And this little ladybird's going, you know, I'm just climbing up this tree. This tree and moving onwards and upwards up the tree seems to be the place I need to be going. But this Jupiter Sagittarius energy is saying, hey, there's a whole forest out there. Why don't we go exploring? There's a greater reach to be had. So it's sort of expanding your horizons in a way or expanding your perception of what's out there and what what you can reach or what you can achieve. So it's just kind of, yeah, really opening your mind up to all these new possibilities that, that are coming in. And temperance does represent that there is um, the need to restore balance. This is healthy balance, so harmony and balance in your life. So a healthy and harmony, harm, yeah, harmonious relationships or boundaries or just your health. So there's something around that as well that's coming in with it. So let's see what else Gemini needs to know. I want to pull one of these cards for you from this deck. They're coming out this week. So they're coming out increasingly more and more in the readings, these cards. So let's see what is coming through for you, Gemini. Ah, yes. The Karmic Trench and the King of Scrolls. Fantastic. So this is you. The King of Scrolls is quite literally that moment of like, you know, think of it as the King of Air really because he's got the scroll. It represents air, the element of air. It's communication, learning, knowledge, wisdom. And it's just look, looking there, pausing at the situation, thinking like that thoughtful moment that we're seeing coming here is there. But we've got the karmic trench. So what he's thinking about is, yeah, we're talking a lot about karma and uh, the node shifting and changing. So we can see it's time to start digging and creating the trenches, creating a fertile space, creating the soil to be planting those new seeds. So the thoughtfulness, the moment, what's going on inside your mind, this pause for reflection and going, you know what, I've got the, this scroll, which represents my knowledge, my wisdom, my understanding, my ideas. Um, so a plan perhaps I've got happening in my life. So it really is a sense of, yeah, I really need to start making this trench and start um, making room for this new karma that's coming in. It's, a, it's potentially a time 
to start planting those new seeds. So I feel like it starts with this thoughtfulness. It starts inside your mind and then there's this expansion that comes through with the temperance energy and then it's like the, the karmic trench is actually digging and doing the work. It's like, yeah, okay, where do I want to put a lot of my physical energy and time into making this happen, making a space for it, making it a fertile space to plant these new seeds. So it feels like it's so laden with new possibilities, exciting new seeds that are coming in for you. Like I said, it's all very at the start, like this is the start of a new 18-month cycle. So you're at the very beginning stages. You're just digging the trench. You may not have even planted the seeds. You might not see those seeds coming up yet. You might not even know where they are because you're coming up with the judgment card as the situation. You've still got some clearing out to do. And this might be just the final leaving of the south node in Scorpio, which is just that final uh, ending of some really deep um, emotions that you might have been clearing out or working on. And this can be very subtle. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to pick that card up. Okay, we have the chariot coming in for you. So cancer energy, we are still in cancer season at this moment in time. So the chariot would represent that you're kind of still working with things, trying to move things forward. I'm still working with that cancer season. So let's see what else is coming in for Gemini. Ooh, six of wands. Success, validation and success. Very nice. That's what's happening at the base. So I feel like your mind is alive here, Gemini. I'm so excited for what's going on here. You know, just think about what is this King of Scrolls thinking about here? This is you. This is the divine masculine of you. What are you thinking about? What is this thing that you're ready to plant and seed? So, yeah, wow, it feels exciting. And I like this gate. I keep They keep drawing me to the gate here. At the moment it's shut, this gate, but it's almost like you're dreaming of it opening up and that's the, the going down new paths, going into new possibilities. So, yeah, wow. Wow. Um, Let's see. I'm just I'm just getting excited for this reading. It just feels good. So let's see. What else is coming through for Gemini? Let's see what else is coming in. <laughs> okay. The Knight of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. You're the magician. Of course you are because you're creating magic in your world. The temperance energy is about alchemy as well. So the magic is about what's going on inside your mind, but then you're applying that to your resources and going, okay, how am I going to make, make, work this and make it happen? So magician energy, this is Mercury coming in and just so much. I mean, look at what's going on inside the magician's mind, that um, infinity symbol above his mind. It's like, whoa, mind is just opening up to so much here. It's, um, yeah, and uh, pointing to the sky, so feeling very, bringing information from spirit into the earth. So could be very inspired energy that comes through so and a lot of potential like higher downloads or yeah it just feels like yeah I need to make this happen so let's see what else is coming through for Gemini the cards are being a bit slow <laughs> this week of coming out Gemini oh okay we've got the eight of cups we've got the nine of swords that's like the Gemini nemesis card that nine of swords coming in but that's just in hopes and fears so that's good. <laughs> it's not a bad position for that one to come out. And we have the three of wands, the young emperor coming in. That's the Aries energy coming through and going, All right, let's try something new. Let's um, see if we can get some really good positive results coming in. So I just want to get a little bit more. The five of swords and... Okay, the Five of Swords and, ooh, the High Priestess. Very nice. I do want to pull one more, the Six of Cups. I was feeling like that one was around, the Six of Cups. Okay, the world. All right. I was. I thought the Five of Swords was going to be the Six of Cups for whatever reason, and so I was like, oh, it feels like there's Six of Cups energy. So we will look at this, and that's the past returning. So as the main situation, we've got the Judgment card this is, again, you're seeing a lot of angels here, like the temperance, the wings of the temperance card and the judgment. These are both the cards that have the angels coming in for you, receiving messages from the angels, very strongly being divinely guided here. So this is really beautiful. 
the judgment energy is about clearing and cleaning and so it might really feel like you need to clear out a space or detox in some way in a health in terms of your health or in terms of your emotions energetically emotionally mentally this is the clearing out it's like a reevaluation a big review of where you're at this is the thoughtful energy where am i at with this what can i clear out what do i not need in my mind or my emotions or my life anymore and uh, yeah making way for a rebirth for the new it is crossed by the five of cups so it may feel like there's still some emotions from the past that it's still maybe it feels like you're making a break from the past in some way some emotional connection or something that's hurt you from the past or been disappointing or you're mourning something from the past maybe it feels like you know this new direction is very much a, a break from the past is what I feel like. And so that in itself, whether that's a good or a bad thing, might be blocking you. Um, in a way, there might just be still be some, some emotions you need to process about stepping into the present and stepping into the future. And we have in your conscious mind the chariot card. So this is about moving something forward. And this is the card of wanting to get really focused. It's the card of will and determination. So it's almost like you need to kind of, you've got this five of cups, which is something's blocking you emotionally here, perhaps um, related to the past, but it's like, I'm not going to let that stop me <laughs> with the determination of this chariot. It's like, I'm putting my armor on. I've still got my feelings. I'm protecting myself and I'm moving forward. So, and pulling those two sphinxes, it may be that it's you wanting to bring something into focus or you really need to focus on something. It might be that it's hard to focus, but focusing and moving forward is the energy and will and determination. So we have at the base the six of wands. So this is, a, this is success, victory, validation, recognition, rewards. It's, you know, really fantastic card of success coming in. This is the Leo energy. So we're seeing Leo and Cancer working really well here for you so you can work with these energies quite productively in the recent past we have the knight of cups so it really feels like it's like this knight of cups you emotionally were readying to cross the threshold into the new into this new like I feel like it almost feels like there's a point where it's like I need to I'm releasing from the past and so this knight of cups you know it's about to cross the river here but the Five of Cups is looking at the river, still stuck, hasn't quite crossed the threshold yet and gone, okay, I'm drawing a line. Once I cross over that line, I'm stepping into this new energy. And so I feel like, you know, if there's something you can do around that, whether it's a visualization or some kind of ritual or just, you know, I choose to do this, that would be some sort of positive affirmation. That could actually be really positive with this. Because we see here, with the temperance card that the river's flowing you know you're going down that river so you're going down this new path this new emotional journey that you're opening up to here so we have and that's where jupiter is bringing you and expanding your world so in the near future we've got the three of pentacles this is about knowing your value knowing your worth knowing your value lots coming in venus is in leo actually here with the six of wands so venus want is all about self-worth and validation as well it's about money love what you're attracting to you but it comes with this sense of validation and self-worth so it's um yeah I, I really feel like in the near future you're going to be working with that energy this is energy exchanges with other people perhaps working on a group project or um, talking to people or learning new things with people or a new group that you're kind of working in energy exchanging with their energy doesn't have to be a new group but it feels like there's kind of you're all working towards something um, so it could feel quite collaborative or productive even if it's like we're all working on our own things but we're coming together and supporting each other in some way but this is like you might get called into a situation where you're feeling quite valued or valuable so and it involves other people like that being reflected back to you so you're being presenting as the magician. We've kind of spoken about your mind just being totally opened up here. Inspirational downloads. The magician is becoming very consciously aware now of, uh, and that's why it's really great to have this thoughtful energy, consciously aware of what paths you're ready to go down, what new seeds you're ready to plant, 
and how you're going to go about that with the magician because the magician uses the resources around him to say, right, how am I going to work my magic here? There's, um, I've got the ingredients here to put everything together and once I put everything together, then that creates an alchemy that things can shift and change form. So it really feels like you are the magician, you're the manifester here, <laughs> you're, creating, you're the one making the magic in your life. So I feel like a lot of this is you creating your own opportunities that may feel like they're coming externally to you, but this is because of like perhaps your the energetic frequency that you're at if you're in this right headspace, that this thoughtful sp headspace of opening your mind to these new possibilities. So energy surrounding you is this eight of cups. This is again speaks of there's something that you're emotionally releasing and breaking away from. There's opportunity here to go, you know, this is not feeling right. It's not feeling fulfilling. I'm searching for more. Perhaps it used to feel give you something that you really needed emotionally, but it's like it's not. I'm not feeling that anymore, so I need to emotionally detach and find something else. And you need to really trust your intuition with this. We do have a new moon in Cancer coming in on the 17th, so that could be a really great time to set an intention for this and to set a little ritual or intention about crossing that threshold um, into the new, into the into the future that you're manifesting and creating here. So hopes and fears we have like I said, the Nine of Swords, I always think of this as Gemini's nemesis <laughs> card. This is when too much mental overload, too much is going on inside your mind, your thoughts are tripping you up, you're getting caught up in your own mental cycles. It's creating stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. So yeah, this is just like, but that's just a fear, I would say, because it is the card of unreal fears the phantoms at 3 a.m. when you wake up and suddenly everything seems really dramatic and terrible and then you go back to sleep and wake up in the morning and go, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. So it's those little fears that can play out on your mind that make things seem a lot worse than what they are. So we have as an outcome the Three of Wands, the Five of Swords, the High Priestess and the Six of Cups. Now this is quite, quite an interesting outcome. I think that a lot of the energy at this moment, and what I'm getting with this is because this is the young emperor, this emperor energy represents Aries, the North Node in Aries. So it's all very new. It's something new that's coming through with the Three of Wands that is a new opportunity that you're wanting to maybe put some things out there, some feelers out there, um, and and just see what comes back. So this can be the card of marketing. It could be putting job applications in or just reaching out to people and just waiting for some the ships to be coming in to have some positive results. So because it's the young emperor, it's all very new and early days as well. I feel like people are looking at you going, feeling like it's really seeing that you're putting yourself first. So they might actually have a bit of a negative judgment about that. They might say, oh, well, you're being very self-interested here with this. But it's really important with this Aries energy to put yourself first, to assert yourself, to go, right, this is what I need to be doing and to follow that, follow, trust that instinct, trust that um, intuition that's coming through because you've, you've, um, you've got the high priestess there as well and the six of cups. So this is very much the high priestess. Your intuition is telling you that you need to put yourself first, to trust in yourself, trust the direction that you're going in. Don't worry about other pe people's opinions or limited forms of thinking, it may create some kind of um, conflict in your world as well because you're kind of almost breaking a pattern here. But it, these could be people that from the past that are used to you kind of being a certain way or doing a certain thing and you're crossing that threshold now into something new and they need to kind of work with the new energy that you are working with here and creating in your world and so they are the ones that have to readjust to you, um, not the other way around. And that's, I think you're going to get some really strong intuitive messages around that. So the other thing that you might be really working with here is past energy, people from the past, past memories, past emotions. It really feels like intuitively this could be a really rich and fertile space for you to be drawing inspiration from and to be, to be drawing information from 
that can emotionally balance your world as well. So I do feel like it's like you've got to try these new things. You've got to try some things out, see what works, see what doesn't work. Uh, don't worry about other people's responses or opinions. You've got to trust your North Star here. And we have as an outcome the world card. So this is about you stepping out into the world, into a new world, crossing that threshold, ex- you know, again, stepping into fr- new frontiers. But it also requires the ending of old cycles to be able to do that. And you might be diving deep into something that is more fulfilling for you. So it really feels like that's an important energy to come through with that. So let's pull an affirmation card for you, Gemini. Let's see, what does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know around this? What does Gemini need to know? Affirmation card for Gemini. <laughs> there, some of them are jumping some of them are like, let's get the right one for you. Here we go. Okay. We've got, it is safe to look within. Beautiful. If you look within, what you're going to get is this sense of validation here with the six of wands. So yeah, absolutely. Go in, get yourself self-validated because other people might not be validating you externally. You need to find that yourself. As I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. Wow. That just encapsulates what we were just talking about. That was That's amazing, Gemini. And you are. You are this beautiful, amazing thing. If you look in, you're going to see the six of wands and the magician. You're like this magician that um, is working your magic here. So I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. Wow, that is so beautiful. Okay, so let's pull let's pull a charm for you, Gemini. So let's see what we have. Ah, beautiful. Speaking of loving what you see in yourself and validation, we have the heart. And this heart is interesting because it's kind of uh you know, there's it, it's different. One side's different to the other and one side, side seems bigger than the other. So it almost feels like there's something within your heart that's ready to flourish and grow and that there's some kind of balancing inside your heart that can come through with this uh, energy because the temperance energy, ultimately, that's what's crowning you. It's about restoring balance and harmony. The Six of Cups is about restoring emotional balance. So I think those are energies that you can work with really well. And that's what we're seeing here, that something wants to grow and flourish inside your heart that is going to balance some energies inside your heart. So that is your reading, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments and take care.